Hello everyone, my name is Akshay Padeh and I am going to describe about the assessment task 1. Here is my two members, uh, Amal Patil and Vidhi Kastamani. Hey, myself Akshay Patel. So let's discuss about the um, contribution of the team. So here, this big board and the questions will be covered by me. The total goals and the trade-offs will be also covered by me. And the total trade-offs will be also the preparation in here. And the total goals, the questions team and the learning team and the total logic and the design will be covered by me. And in the end, the collaborative protocols, the protocols, the switching protocols and the security mechanism will be covered by the BCAS. So let's move to the first slide. So here is the business goals of the smart pharmacy. So expanding service to a new location in the time New South Wales. Uh, it will be ensured all the private franchises have stocks above the threshold value in order to avoid the absorption uh, in the delivery process. Smart pharmacy looks for the inventory management system in order to automate the transaction of every item made by franchises so that records can be maintained to fill against the demand. Uh, according to the requirements. So, the smart pharmacy requires the connectivity with franchises within play, uh, video player system, uh, which requires a web server to host e-commerce platform uh, uh, through which the product's order can be checked and collected from the franchises for the purpose of on-time delivery to the buyer's home. So, e-commerce portal for the online consumers to buy and locate delivery uh, of the products. So uh, the next one is the required security protocols and the mechanism. So the security uh, uh, will be necessary uh, in the protocols uh, in order to prevent any attacks on the platform in, in order to ensure data security uh, for the customers. So in the last, creating delivery team uh, to support e-commerce portal. So the uh, delivery team is necessary to create because uh, uh, the product successfully to buyers home successfully after the rendering the item on the portal. Next one is the constraints. Uh, there are the five constraints. Constraints and time constraints is very important. Uh, which is in time uh, is the major constraints uh, uh, for time because smart pharmacy is providing medical products to customer on the line. So it is very important to uh, maintain the time. Business infrastructure. Smart pharmacy infrastructure is very large, complex due to which is the connectivity or deployment to the worst areas become constraints in the designs. Budget is very uh, budget is a very uh, uh, budget is very necessary to uh, to. Um, uh, therefore, it will be necessary for the designers to develop the uh, network design with the given budget in order to avoid the overflow. Research constraints uh, is the fourth one, uh, which is network design will accommodate new strategies along with the tools and technologies. Technology is the last one, which is restricted by the deploying services of cloud over the platform. As a result, the designer will not be able to employ advance over the uh, system offered by the cloud uh, which might ensure the functionalities. Next one is the uh, technolo uh, technical goals which is performance uh, is the e-commerce platform in order to provide the buying and service for the customers in the location and delivery for them to the delivery team on time. Security is very important because online product selling system is integrated with the permanent gateway in order to allow the customer to pay. Availability, pharma pharmaceutical services are provided to customers by pharmacy uh, via the web portal. The availability is very important. Scalability, uh, uh, pharmacy is attracting more customers towards the e commerce platform due to effective marketing strategies. In the last, manageability, as the discussion was, pharmacy lacks uh, experience team due to. Uh, which it can be difficult uh, to uh, control the data flow within the network design. So these are the technical goals. So here is the trade-offs. There are the five trade-offs, technical goals and the trade-offs. Technical goals has the uh, as a represented the trade-off. So the performance has 18, uh, availability 22, scalability 17, plus security 30, and the manageability 30. So 
Thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, the next part will be covered by the human. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Hamal Patel. I'm going to start with the user communities and data stores and desired services required for the uh, smart pharmacy user communities. There are different user communities, online and offline consumers, franchise locations, account and finance manager, network manager, purchasing manager, storekeeper and managing director. There are different sites across Australia, New South Wales and new locations for smart pharmacy warehouse. They all, all user communities require different, different types of desired services such as HTTP and HTTPS web services, data service, database services, internet open trading protocol, HTTPS, RTSP, POP3 and SMTP protocol, DNS and DHCP, domain and dynamic IP addressing, SSH, remote access, and the, so on. They, they all require different data stores for user communities. On, for example, online and offline consumers require deployed tape drive and hard disk via workstation configuration. And as we can see from the table that hard drive and tape drivers are required for other user communities in the network. Now, if we move on to the network applications and traffic flow, there are types of network applications in the network design of smart pharmacy, email services, DNS and DHCP, MySQL web services, payment system, MP4 streaming, inventory management system, and SSH. Generally flow type is for this type of applications is client to server and in reverse manner. But for SSH, it is CMD to host. Or it is SSH is managed by network manager. There are different pro pro protocol used used for this application. POP3 and SMTP used for email services. HTTP and HTTPS used for web services. IOTP used for payment system. RTSP used for M MP4 streaming. Secure cell SSH protocol used for SSH. SSH is highly critical, highly critical quality of service required at SSH. And there are network utilization and broadcast to multicast rate and absolute network rate uh, usages. Numbers are explained in the table. If we move on to the IP addressing scheme, variable length subnet mask technique used for dividing the large subnet into small subnets to store, limit the wastage of IP address internet domain routing protocol used for calculating subnets for end nodes. This table is designed efficiently to assign the unique addresses to end nodes. We, as we can see from the table, all, all different end nodes have different unique addresses. For example, namely, uh, external store one, store two, store three, all have different hosts needed and available host, a new source, network addresses, slash mask, different usable range and different broadcast and wildcard for this network. Now, if we move on to the net logical network diagram, as you can see, it is followed Cisco hierarchy or structure. There are three layers, core layer, distribution layer, and access layer. Generally all communication initiated through this core layer and it offers medium to transfer the data flow successfully. And security, security configuration at the core layer sometimes can impose a little bit of delay in the communication. Now we can see from the design ISP, ISP is connected with the cellular, cellular network and through it is also connected to the delivery trucks and store one, store two and store three PCs are connected via switches and routers to the ISP and VPN, we can see the VPN tunnels as well. And with, with with the multi-layer switches 
it is also connected DMZ to the DMZ. And now if we talk about the distribution layer, it, it provides the medium for core layer, medium to connect the core layer and the access layer. And it distributes the traffic across the network and controls the data flow. And we can see the distribution layer connected through work, work, work group switch to the storage array and server farm, which has the internal mail server, inter, uh, so database server and inventory management server. Now, if we talk about the access layer, end users are connected through the L2 switches, uh, L2 switches to the distribution layer. There are logistics, purchase, storekeeping, management, and accounts, and accounts department connected at the access layer to the L2, L2 layer to switches. And that's it for my part. And now Vikas will continue. Thank you, Hemal. Hello, my name is Vikas Tamang, and I'm gonna give the presentation from the design justification. We have used Cisco hierarchical model for the development, and there are three main parts: core layer, distribution layer, and access layer. In core layer, all the communication process is initiated through this layer as it offers medium in order to transfer the data successfully. The distribution layer, it will provide a medium for user to connect with core layer in order to access the service at different location. And the last, access layer. This layer mainly deals with the users and provide interface to connect with the proposed network designed to access the service. And this, in this proposed design, we have integrated some functionalities and, and there are VPN, VLANs, DMZ, inventory management application server, and redundancy failover configuration. And the next topic is routing and switching protocols. And for the routing protocols, we have used three main routing protocols. And they are host standby routing protocols, open source test path first, Brother Gateway Routing Protocol. Routing protocols. Different franchises are connected with smart pharmacy and install router device in order to transfer the data. However, it is necessary to add routing path between the router device to make the successful communication process. In order to accomplish the demand of routing path, the configuration of routing protocols has been made to transfer the data successfully. In the first host standby routing protocol, the primary most requirement of smart pharmacy is the high availability of the network and to accomplish the requirement. The configuration of host standby routing protocol is done. This, is, this routing protocol will provide a secondary link for the proposed network design to replace the primary link on failure. Open shortest path first. Warehouse of smart pharmacy has different areas for which the configuration of open short, shortest path first routing protocol can be done as this protocol has to connect different areas efficiently. With the help of open shortest path routing protocol, this extra algorithm can be used to define the path which is calculated by least accurate link cost. And the last, border gateway routing protocol. The configuration of border gateway routing protocol is also made to back up a routing path between the in nodes. It will enable the whenever the primary links will face failure in the transmission process of data destination in. And for the, uh, the topic switching protocols, switching following are the switching protocols through which the network design can be delivered the services. And there are VLAN trunking protocol, span entry protocol, address resolution protocol. In VLAN trunking protocol, the proposed network design is configured with virtual local, uh, local area network ID to which the access for the particular department, departments can be divided. The in spanning tree protocol, the configuration of spanning tree protocol can be done on the network design in order to restrict the creation of loop because it delays the overall communication process. Address resolution protocol, overall communication can be established within the local area network by using MAC address. Additionally, the local address can be accessed through the other device at different locations through the internet connectivity and utilize IP address. With address resolution protocol, mapping of domain can be made on IP address in order to provide alternative way to access the system. And the last topic is security me mechanism. 
for the purpose of security we have used four possible mechanism security mechanism and they are virtual private network intrusion prevention and detection system port security and triple a server and our conclusion uh, proffered a feasible solution to smart pharmacy design will promote the adopted business and technical goals high cost structure is used to justify the proposed network design Overall development of proposed network design is accomplished by the following top-down network methodology to illustrate infrastructure or logical network design along with the addressing scheme provided, discussed user communities, data stores, and network traffic requirements for proposed network design, routing and switching protocols were analyzed and discussed, security protocols proposed to configure on smart pharmacy network design. And these are our contribution of our team members by Oxay, Hemel, and me. And these are the references we have taken. Thank you.